Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to be doing a speed test comparison with the iPhone 13 Pro on iOS 16.2, comparing it to the iPhone 13 Pro Max on 16.3 Beta 1 today. See which one's faster, do they perform the same? Usually beta perform worse than production, usually. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before I get started, I just want to say that I've been doing these speed test comparison videos for a very long time, since 2016. I was only 15 years old when I just started doing these speed test videos. And this is back when I just started doing Apple Tech for a YouTube channel. This is back, back before I was experienced like I am today. I was very inexperienced, didn't know how to film properly, the audio was bad, I looked much younger too. Believe me, if you guys watch this video, compare it to the video you're watching right now, you'll see the biggest difference on how far I've come in the YouTube world on how I film, do stuff, and everything. All right, so now, what I'm gonna do now is do the boot up test. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this down. And I'll come back to you guys once it's fully done and powering down. Okay guys, so I'm back and the both phones have finished powering down. So just to let you guys know, so iOS 16.2 is on the left on the 13 Pro, 16.3 Beta 1 on the 13 Pro Max. 3, 2, 1. It takes a second for them to turn on here. There we go. So both of them not powering on. And what it looks like is that the iOS 16.2 on 13 Pro lit up first, then the 16.3 on the Pro Max. So it looks like the Pro will finish powering up first. Yep, iOS 16.2 was faster. Let me go and do my pass it off camera here. Okay guys, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the gaming test next. Next up, the gaming test. So basically what I have done for this test is I installed a, about seven of my games I used to play when I was a kid back in 2017. I was only like 16 years old when I played these games in 2017. So first up is a game called Power Heroes, three, two, one. Looks like it's exactly the same while loading. Nope, the iOS 16.3 did show the image first. It was very hard to notice, but it was. Play. So 16.3, again, came first. I'm going to do this one as the demo. So basically, it's like Subway Surfers, where you get a mission, basically. On Subway Surfers, instead of free mode, you get a mission on this game. Though so I still like this game today. I didn't start playing this one and still, until like a few days ago. One of the newest. So basically you do this and get a mission. So when you get a power up, mission is complete. So you move across like this, jump, swipe under like slowly surface. Up, so here's the first one. You see, as soon as I got the power up, the mission was complete. Same for here, just like that. The mission is now finished. I'm gonna hit X, pause this for now, go to the home page. So that is the power hero. So it looks like 16.3 was just a tad faster than Iowa 16.2. Next up, Sonic Dash. So I was 16.3 did low first. Again, just a like a second faster than 16.2. Play. You see Sonic Dash is so like this, see where you jump, get rings, stuff like this, under the boost is interesting. So each track is a little different. Gotta watch out for the obstacles in your way. So what I am seeing here is that it feels the gaming performance compared to comparing 16.3 to 16.2. It feels about the same. Actually, it does. So the loading times may be different, but the performance is pretty much the same because both these devices have basically the same amount of RAM in them. Because I know this by looking at Geekbench before this test. All right, next up, Temple Run. That one, yeah, 16.2 came first. Yeah, so iOS 16.2 loaded that first. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and play here. So Temple Run is one of the coolest games ever. You can swipe like this or jump, move under. See, I can swipe. Swipe. It's very hard for me to do this on camera as two devices. Swipe to jump, you see? Again. So for Temple Run, it was about the same. Same thing. The gaming performance is the same, but the loading times may be slightly different. That's what I've noticed with a lot of these games that the performance on when you're playing the game is the same, but no different at all. See, that's how you collect coins and all that. So that is Temple Run. 
So next up, Temple Run 2. That was very hard to tell. Yeah, the 13 Pro Max loaded that one first. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to select yes for that one. Not the track. Downloaded content. Yeah, so 16.2 loaded this game first. I'm going to hit OK. OK. For all of these, no thanks. I have never played the second version of Temple Run before. This is quite funny, actually. It's, it's the exact same thing as the first Temple Run. It's a bit tricky because every landscape for each game is going to be a little different. Yeah, you see I failed. So it looks like what I'm seeing here is 16.2 in general loaded the Temp Run too faster. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is use breachability to do another game here. Which is PJF Moonlight. So for that one, it was very hard to tell. But that one was exactly the same. So, yeah. So that one, exactly the same. So next what I'm going to do is do the, the stock app launching test. So next up, the built-in app launching test. What this means is the app's on the home screen here. First up, settings. Exactly the same. Freeform. Exactly the same. Home. Exactly the same. App Store. 16.3 came first. Podcasts. Exactly the same. TV, TV. Let me go ahead and redo that. 16.3 came first. Reminders. Exactly the same. Clock. Exactly the same. Camera. Exactly the same. Calendar. Exactly the same. So a lot of these apps are exactly the same. Music. 16.2 came first. Phone. Exactly the same. So next up, I'm going to go into my, my categories here for the calculator next. Exactly the same. Next up, iTunes Store. Exactly the same. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of these apps are launching at the same time, which is interesting, actually. So next up, we're going to do is the Siri speed test. So next up, the Siri speed test. What I mean is I'm going to be asking Siri both questions on both phones, see which one will answer first. But to be safe, I'm going to be doing commands that do not invade privacy. Which is not going to be doing like FaceTime, no phone calls, no messages or emails, stuff like that. Just weather, clock, and the math questions in the opening apps. Those are not invasion of privacy. Because believe that stuff you got to take very seriously when you're on YouTube. I learned that myself the hard way in 2017. Okay, here we go. What time is it in New York? It's 3.03 p.m. in New York City, New York. Exactly the same. Weather for New York. It's currently clear and hmm. 56 degrees in New York, New York. Looks like 16.2 came first that time. Open App Store. Yeah, so 16.3 came first. Sometimes the phone will keep actually listening to you even though you're done talking, which is kind of annoying, a little bug there. So 16.3 came first that time. Next up, the math questions. 10 times 10. It's 100. Exactly the same. 9 times 9. It's 81. So 16.2 came first because they showed result first, which is kind of interesting, actually. All right, so now what I'm going to be doing is the Safari web page test. So next up, the Safari web page loading test. So I've gone to a start page here. So what I'm going to do now is go to apple.com, 3, 2, 1. Exactly the same. I'm going to click this link right here. Yeah, iOS 16.3 came first. This one. iOS 16.3 again. Apple Watch. Yeah, at so that time it was iOS 16.2. So later on, if you guys don't know that I'm going to plan on getting the Apple Watch Ultra uh, for like the future. Like I'm going to plan and get this watch in March of 2023 and do a video on it later. That's going to be one of my future videos. In case you guys don't realize this. Next one. Do I have a little more? That goes to the iOS 16.2. iPad. Exactly the same. Got to learn more here. Exactly the same. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of the web pages I'm loading is exactly the same. So most sometimes it was 16.3, but most of the time it was 16.2. And 99% of the time it was exactly the same. So it's mixed results there. So there's no real answer to which one's faster or slower. It's pretty much mixed up. 
All right, so next up, I'm going to do the Geekbench test with Geekbench 4. It's more accurate, easy for me to tell what's going on and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that next. So I'm back and I have Geekbench 4 opened. So I'm going to go ahead and run the CPU benchmark right now. And I'll come back to you guys once I'm done running it. Okay, guys, so I'm back and the Geekbench has finished running. And what I am seeing here is that the single core score is higher than 16.3, see 16.2 and 3. So on 16.2 with a higher single core than 16.3, but something I've never noticed before, that in all my life of testing betas, starting with the iOS 8 in 2014 up to now, I have never seen the multi-core score lower on the production than the beta. I've never seen that before. And this is actually the first time the beta has a higher than the production. So interesting. And as you see, they have pretty much the exact same amount of RAM here, very close and all that. All right, so that is the speed test comparison video of Iowa 16.2 versus Iowa 16.3. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. If I like the video, give this a thumbs up for this video. Peace out.